So you're very welcome back to Unstable TV. We have another suggestion from our USA Reacts. But before we get into that, if this is your first time on the channel, do not forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, hit that bell. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you. So what are we reacting on today, Danielle? So today, James, we have been sent what really happens in the Navy SEALs toughest week of training. Not just any week. The toughest. So... We're excited to see what is going to be going on in this video and we're excited to watch this with you guys so without further ado let's watch this together let's go they have a 92 percent washout rate time and again their training has been described as the most mentally and physically tough of any special forces outfit in the world those who don't choose to quit have a better than even chance of suffering a serious injury with one of the highest training fatality rates among special forces units on earth some will even die and if you want to be a U.S. Navy SEAL, then you too will have to pass through the dreaded Hell Week. It starts Wait, with a bang. Just... A lot of bangs. Okay. Actually, okay. One minute yeah. you're comfortably asleep in your bunk, if maybe a little drafty, seeing as you're sleeping inside a tent by the ocean. And the next, the world has exploded into a cacophony of gunfire and explosions. Hope you had some nice dreams there, sweet pea, because you just woken up to a world of hurt. Instructors prowl the tents, barking orders and ripping students out of their cots. All the while, other instructors move through the camp firing off rifles and machine guns loaded with blanks. Others toss smoke and concussion grenades everywhere they please. You better be able to find your swim buddy in the chaos as instructors shout orders through the chaos of gunfire and explosions, because you do not want to be caught without your swim buddy. Then it's time to get your ass in the water. Hell Week is going to be long, cold, and extremely sandy, and it all starts on minute one of night one. You'll be running into the freezing cold Pacific surf and locking arms with the rest of the students, letting the pounding Pacific waves slam into you over and over again, rapidly dropping your internal body temperature. You may have grown up the biggest, baddest guy on your block. Maybe you can bench press 300 pounds. Maybe you're an MMA champ. Literally none of that matters to the United States Navy. Thugs are a dime a dozen and of no use to the professional United States military. What interests the US Navy is men who are physically and mentally tough and it all starts with the ice-cold Pacific Ocean washing over you at 2 in the morning. It's only that been minutes since Hell Week began and already students are calling it quits. The freezing waters of the Pacific oh, reach body heat away, dropping core temperature to dangerously low levels. Some of the students can't help it. Each human body is different and theirs simply can't handle the cold and begins to shut down. Others don't have the mental toughness to shrug off the effects of hypothermia. Good. The United States Navy doesn't want them anyway. Quitting is encouraged, you're reminded of that on a nearly minute-by-minute -minute basis, as instructors with bullhorns give voice to your innermost thoughts. It's too cold. If you stay in this water, you might die. Wouldn't it feel better to be in a nice, warm bed right now, like the rest of the world? There's coffee and donuts, you know, just over there, past a lonely wow. silver bell. All you have to do is walk up to it and ring it once, signifying you're done. Then you get a nice, fat, juicy donut and some piping hot coffee to enjoy in front of your former classmates. People are doing it even now, and you can see the steaming fog of the coffee from your vantage point in the surf zone. Right before another ice-cold wave slams into Some you, break and train. drowning you for just a moment. Now that you're good and soaked, with sand washed into every crevice of your body, it's time to get that body temperature up with some good old-fashioned PT. Hope you like push-ups, because you're going to be doing hundreds of them. But the United States Navy isn't heartless, and it doesn't want you to get bored. So they've even given you the privilege of alternating your hundreds of push-ups with hundreds of flutter kicks. It's the most exhausting yeah, workout of nice. your life. That's, that's but lovely. again, the Navy has you covered and gives you plenty of breaks. Just long enough for you to run, not jog, down to the surf, link arms, and get smashed by the freezing cold waves all over again. If you had a watch, which you don't, you'd know that only one hour has passed since Hell Week has began, and already a tenth of your class has called it quits. All your push-ups and flutter kicks are bo- That's an hour. An hour of a... No. I would have been finished in the first 10 minutes. What about you? And I would be finished in the first five minutes. <laughs> Absolutely. Like, that's insane for the first for the first hour already. We know, you know, they have to do these things, be ready for war and stuff, but it's still crazy to see during training, isn't it? No wonder they're the most high-ranking soldiers and why they do not break under any terrain. Because if you can survive that, I think... Just talking about the training to each other while you're running into battle, that would remind you, alright, this is the break in between that. Let us know, would any of be able to survive this down below? What's the hardest workout routine you guys have ever done? And what what's your work, workout routine currently? Boring the instructors, so it's time to switch it up. 
Now you're gonna low crawl 200 meters on hard pavement to get to the next evolution area, and your ass better not rise more than an inch off the ground as you move. In combat, you'll get killed. Here, it'll move you straight back to the starting area where you'll begin your low crawl all over again. By now, you've covered every square inch of your body in coarse sand, and you're dragging your worthless hide across hard pavement, digging that sand into your soft flesh. That's not road burn, student. That's the American homeland giving you a loving kiss. You can't so much raise your head until you can wow. physically reach out and touch an instructor's boot. Then, well, did I mention that the instructors were bored? It's time to entertain them. You probably liked singing in the shower as a civilian. Well, the United States Navy would love to hear you sing, and they've provided the biggest shower in the world to be your stage, the Pacific Ocean. That's right, it's time to hit the surf zone. Yes. Lock arms and start belting out tunes on request. The instructors love the classics. America, my country, tis of thee, and of course, anchors away, the Navy's own fight zone. And they'll gladly accept some top 40 hits or even a few holiday jingles. What? So you better know more than a few songs by heart because you'll be singing them for the next several hours. All right, you made it to dawn. Congratulations. Other special forces programs around Don't. the world will starve their recruits in order to test their mental toughness. The United States Navy takes the opposite approach, and you'll not only eat often, but you'll eat a lot, and most of it will be piping hot. But only because the Navy has to feed you like this. You may be able to slog through other special forces training on one protein bar every two days, but Navy SEAL training will absolutely kill you if you don't eat hot food often. You're burning a whopping 8,000 calories a day, and the warm food will make sure that your core body temperature doesn't dip so low that you die from hypothermia. If you've made it to Hell Week, you've definitely done long PT before, but you've never quite done it like this. You and several of your fellow students will be doing log PT for hours. Give your log a name. Get close to your log. Get to know its likes and dislikes, its hopes and dreams for the future. Mr. Because Clark. you and your team are going to be doing log PT for days. You'll carry your log. You'll push your log. You'll pull your log. You'll jog with your log. And you'll take nice rest breaks holding your log close as the Pacific Ocean's freezing cold waves slam into you over and over again in the surf zone. Again, but the, the US Navy doesn't with? tolerate jealousy and other pettiness in its ranks. And all that time you've spent with your log has kept you away from your inflatable rubber boat. So you'll be spending plenty of time with it too. You'll be carrying your boat over your head for hours on end, to the point that friction will actually cause you to lose hair in patches on your head. Hopefully it'll regrow. If not, well, you're not here to look pretty and win beauty contests. You're here to help the United States Navy enforce a free and open world order on the high seas. It doesn't really matter where you run under the boat, go into the middle, and the 200 to 300 pound boat will be constantly pressing down on you. Go to the front or the back and instead it'll be smacking you in the head as you run possibly even giving you a concussion if someone on your team isn't pulling their weight. You get exactly four hours of guaranteed hell? sleep during all of Hell Week. Because unfortunately, your mind is weak, and the United States Navy has not yet figured out how to operate sailors on an entire week with no sleep. But don't worry, it's a weakness they're working on. If you're smart though, you'll be catching a few blinks of shut-eye literally anywhere you can get it. Finish an evolution before the other teams, your reward is a few minutes of sleep. If the instructors are feeling egregiously generous, you might even get to rest by the fire so you can warm up. Even if you're not smart enough to catch sleep when you can, probably because you're from Arkansas, your brain will try and force it on you. It's your job not to let it do that, because the best way to repeat a training evolution is to fall asleep in the middle of one. By about the third day though, your pathetically weak human brain will start to get a bit buggy, and it's your job to push through the hallucinations of cartoon characters rowing the boat next to you to finish the evolution at hand. That's right, you don't have to carry the boat all the time, that'd be silly. Boats are meant to be on the water after all. So in order to reward your progress through Hell Week, the United States Navy gives you plenty of opportunities for a nice, relaxing cruise through stormy Pacific waves. Of course, you'll be paddling the boat yourself, Lovely. and you'll be paddling on absolutely zero sleep and waves over six feet high for miles and miles at a time. Don't get swept out of the boat and drown, though. That would be incredibly inconvenient for the Navy, and honestly, just plain selfish of you. Hope you like whistles, because you're going to be hearing plenty of them throughout Hell Week. Each instructor carries a whistle, and it doesn't matter what you're doing or what you're carrying, the moment you hear that whistle, you better act. One whistle means drop, flat on your face as incoming rounds are on the way. Two whistles mean stop whatever you're doing and low crawl to the instructor through sand, mud, or hard cement. You hear the whistle blow twice, you move, no questions asked. And you don't stand up again until you hear the three whistle all clear sign. By now you haven't slept or showered in days, and even before getting to Hell Week, you were probably concerned with personal hygiene. But the Navy's got your back, because guess what, it's time for more surf therapy. Lock arms and lay in that surf. Let Mother America hold you close with her barely above freezing watery embrace. 
over and over again for hours, until your teeth are clattering so hard you might actually need dental work after training, like many Hell Week graduates. Or you might not even notice, after all, you've been shivering this entire time as your body desperately tries to keep its temperature up so it doesn't die. And make no mistake, this training will kill you. That's why you get plenty of meals, and most of them piping hot. It's a matter of necessity. Because in order to prove that you can join the ranks of the most elite warriors the planet has ever seen, the Navy will put you through a week purposefully designed to bring you to the brink of constant death by hypothermia. It's not the strongest or the fastest or the best sharpshooters who make it through Hell Week. It's the most mentally fit. The most die-hard sailors who refuse to quit even when their body is on the verge of mechanical shutdown. Then and only then can you even begin to officially start your training as a Navy SEAL. That's right, everything you've endured until now hasn't even been a part of your official training. Hell Week actually takes place shortly after you're accepted into SEAL training. It's all been one big test until now, with Hell Week the final exam. So the United States Navy can see if you're even worth the incredible investment in time and resources it'll take to train you as a SEAL. Even after this, there'll be plenty of opportunities for you to fail. You might have made it through Hell Week, and you should absolutely be proud of that, sailor. But that doesn't mean you're anywhere close to yeah, getting your coveted 100%. Trident pin. You still have months of training ahead of you, along with the dreaded pool competency test, and plenty of opportunities to get washed out of the program. Then, even if you successfully complete all of the training, your instructors may simply reject you at the end of training. The SEAL community is so small that the odds of a new recruit ending up on a real-world mission with one of their instructors are high and no instructor will accept a candidate they wouldn't gladly fight alongside with, even if they make it all the way to their final day of training wow. without washing out. Now, go So first off, a very big shout out to the original content creator. Make sure you check them out, give them a like, subscribe and share all that good YouTube stuff. Hell Week is absolutely hell on earth. How anyone passes that, a big salute to them. That is hardcore, mind-breaking, physical training. Never mind the push-ups. I wouldn't be able for the Cold War at the start. What did you think of that, Danielle? I understand why they have Hell Week first, though, yep. because they need to have their, the like the strongest people that apply for, it, like physically and mentally. So I do, I do get that, but it's still crazy. That's just, it's just mental and physical torture for a week. It's mad. I understand why they do it, because they need you know the toughest people there and stuff like that. But do people actually die? Yeah. Do they die? Let us know. Like. It's just pure punishment, and not even that, when you think you've won some part of it or you've had some achievement. No, there is more. <laughs> and you haven't even started yet. Every time you think you're over a hurdle, by the looks of this, there's another hurdle. And you haven't even made it to the hurdle. And if there's not a hurdle, there's a log, there's a raft, there's whatever else to throw at you, because I'm, I'm sure we're missing some parts in this video too. And then back into the freezing cold water. And no sleep. Yeah. Which is... That's not dangerous at all. No sleep is crazy for hallucinations, especially when you're trying to use the mechanics of your body, trying to move forward. I will say one thing though, the reality of the crawl, like stay very low on the ground, that is fair enough because if you are in a combat zone and there's bullets flying over you, an inch does make the difference. Yeah. If we are fortunate enough to have any high ranking members or any serving members of the USA military here, let us know. Have you ever went through this train or what was your training like even on your rank? Was it was it excruciating? What what was it like from your perspective? Because we can always watch these videos and watch the train, but if we have the people here that actually went through it, they can give us the best insight. We'd love to talk back and forth with you guys. Absolutely, because we've heard every type of military training. Now this isn't most countries in the world because Ireland's not really a brutal training regimes anyway. But the Navy SEAL is supposed to be like the top of the top. Let us know if there's any other ones we should check out too because this was crazy and I'm tired after watching this. Anyone watching, we want to know how long would you guys last on this train? Let us know in the comments how far you guys think you'd be able to push yourselves. Don't be shy. We'll even share how far we could push ourselves with you guys replying to you in the comments. I actually can't swim so I wouldn't get past the first one. What about you? Absolutely not. <laughs> No way. The hypothermia, no. I just found her in, especially with donuts there, you can't be a good donut. You're cold, there's coffee. Whether the coffee's cold or not, you're still wanna gonna you're still gonna want to go and take it. It's piping hot. Exactly. Oh uh, shout out to them for that train and the protection they give to the USA because wow, what it takes to get get to that rank and be there is just 
you understand why there's so much respect for the seals. Mm -hmm. That has been our two cents, and we will chop ourselves out of this.